so uh, in the last session uh, we completed till the uh, failure mode effect analysis uh, which, which is one of the risk management tool which we use in the improve phase and uh, now we are going to talk about the very very important tool of the improve phase which is called design, design of experiment okay so this design of experiment is a tool which is which is very very vast it's a very very vast subject there are too many tools and techniques which are used in design of experiment however in a black belt program we will be going to talk about the full factorial design that's one of the types of design of experiment however if you want to study further there are separate courses on design of experiment which are available and when you enroll for your master black belt certification in the future there you would also find a detailed uh, uh, three days class on design of experiment which is around 12 to 15 hours of class on design of experiment today we are going to conduct design experiment probably in an hours time uh, which is required for the black belt uh, training and certification design of experiment is majority used in the research and industry research and development some of some bit in the manufacturing uh, very rare in the service industry uh, reason because it take a lot of time to complete and usually in the projects that we would, would not have that much time so that's why design experiment is not very commonly used in the service industries so let's understand first that what is design of experiment what is the purpose of design of experiment in an improved phase so let's understand in detail and then we will discuss about some of the topics for design of experiment how to conduct design of experiment on mini tab as well so we will take that as well so what is design of experiment design of experiment is that doing an experiment of certain things before implementing certain solutions okay uh, because sometimes the, the the type of solution that we are implementing is very very critical and very very important in nature that if i don't do any sort of an experiment i will not be able to implement it okay so so doing an experiment of the design that we have come across is called design of experiment okay wherein we use different permutation combinations uh do a lot of try and testing and come up with us come up with a perfect design that we should implement in our process is called design of experiment so which means i do let's say 10 15 experiments and come up with and come up with probably one or two designs that is most relevant for my project so that is what we will be doing in design of experiment okay so uh, as i mentioned it's a very big subject uh, we are covering a small portion of it uh, just a just a warning that if you decide to try doe uh, don't do it alone consult it with someone who has done it before okay so if you don't have the practical experience doing it uh, please don't do it take a help of a mentor for doing design of experiment there are some terminologies which are used in design of experiment which i want you to be aware of so that when we use design of experiment you would be able to refer to those terms okay the first is the response okay so we all know what is the response response is the why the opportunity that we are working on okay factors factors are the inputs or axes uh, it's an independent variable that may affect the response so factors are the probably your causes your axes that is impacting your response then we have uh, levels okay levels are the different different variables that we have like uh, subgroups that we have so one factor can have multiple levels so likewise if i if one of the factor is temperature the levels could be low and high or if the uh, if there are more than two levels then it could be low medium and high so levels are basically the subgroups of the factors okay then another uh, thing which we need to know is the noise factors noise factors are the some of the uncontrollable reasons some of the reasons that you know which might impact my design which would not let me my design which not which won't let my design completed which is sometime beyond my control that is called the noise factor as a name suggest okay so we discuss response we discuss factors we discuss levels then replication so for example i have done design of experiment uh for uh three different factors and five different uh, and two different levels now i want to do the replication 
I'm going to repeat the same experiment again. That is called replication. Okay. So I can do replication um, n number of times because the more replication I do, more the more uh, confident I would be about my experiment. Then we talk about the runs. Okay. Runs is very very important. Runs are basically the number of trials that I'm going to have. Okay. Uh, there is a formula for run. Uh, run is equal to level power factor. Okay. So, uh, which means if the factor is three, level is two. How many should be the run? Can someone answer that? Eight. Eight. So, two to power so three. Two to power three is eight. So that is the number of runs. Okay. So once again, factors are my causes. Levels are my groups, subgroups, different different subgroups between those factors. Okay, like factor is my temperature, and temperature can have different level, high and medium. If factor is three and level is three, how many runs would I have to go for? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Absolutely. And uh, one more question. So, if my factor is uh, two, my level is also two. And uh, then I have two replicas. Then how many runs should I have? Four. Uh, factor is two and level is two. So let, let me let's let's do the same here. Factor is factor is three. Okay, factor is three. Level is three, and two replicas. Fifty-four would be the answer because we'll repeat the whole thing again. Yes, yes absolutely. So 27 plus 27 or 27 into two is 54. Okay. So, so that is the runs, which means how many such data points, how many such designs that I'll be coming up with. So I will be coming up with 54 designs wherein I have to select one that is called runs. Okay. So I'll repeat the formula formula for run is level to the power of factor. Okay. If I am doing only one replica, then it is same. If I am doing two replica, then I multiply it by two. If I do three replica, I'll multiply by three. Is it clear to all of you? Yeah. That is how yeah. we calculate the number of runs to do the experiment. Uh, Shima, can we have different levels? Can we have different levels for each factor? So let's yeah. say factor one is you know low and high, and factor yeah. two is low, medium, high. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, so mini tab gives give us an opportunity to do that. Yeah, if you have that kind of a combination, we can we can do the design of experiment in that way also. So what so what uh, Ashwini is asking that can we decide different levels for different different factors? The answer is yes, we can do that. It is not compulsory that we say that each factor has same number of levels. So if each factor has different number of level, like factor one has two levels factor second has three levels and factor th third has four levels. So that is also possible. Level has to be at least two. It should not be less than that. Okay. So, so that is what is the, is the runs. Okay. So there are major approaches to design of experiment. Uh, first is the factorial design. Uh, then we have Taguchi design and then we have response surface model. However, uh, as I said, in the black belt training, we are only going to cover the factorial design, wherein we will cover the full factorial design and the fractional factorial design. Okay, so we'll be focusing on the factorial design during our training. Now let's understand the difference between full factorial design and fractional fractional. Factorial. So full factorial design is the one which we just discussed, wherein uh, uh, I am coming up with every permutation and combination of different levels and different factors. Likewise, if I have three levels and three factors, uh, I will be coming up with 27 experiments. Okay. So that's a full factor when I am taking everything into consideration, which is, which is something which we just discussed, wherein we haven't taken off anything yet. However, in the fractional fra fra uh, fractional factorial design, uh, the mini tab automatically randomly selects any random number depending upon the factors and levels. 
So for example, if I have three levels and three factors, for the full factorial, I have 27 runs, correct? We just, yeah. we just, but for the fractional factorial design, depending upon the number of data points, it will come up with something lesser than that. This is done when the cost of running experiment is very, very high. When I have, when I don't have that much time, so randomly select that instead of 27, we should do 16 experiment or maybe eight experiment. Okay. So it again depends upon the number of levels. It again depends upon the number of factors. So that is the only difference between full factorial design and fractional factorial design. In full factorial design, we come up with all the experiments which should be there. And in fractional, the Minitab automatically randomly comes up with uh, the number of runs which should be there for fractional. So that's the only difference. So I will take a minute to uh, check if the basic is clear with all of you. Yes. What about others? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So now let's take an example here, which you can see on the screen also. Uh, we are doing a project on the productivity. Okay. And now uh, we are not sure that how we are going to implement the solution because we have a lot of permutation combination. So the factors that we have is we have three factors means we have three causes shift start time, number of breaks associate can take during the shift and the third, third factor is feedback meeting. Okay. And there are levels to each of the factors. So shift timing ka jo factor hai, that is 8 AM or 9 AM. Okay. Number of breaks has one break or two break and feedback meeting, which is 15 minutes uh, meeting at the start of the day, either one or two. Okay. So now we have three factors and two levels. Okay. So which means the total number of runs would be eight. And if I do the replica, then it would be 16. So this is an example that we are currently looking at. Is the example clear to all of you? It was very, very simple. But still, if you haven't understood, I can repeat. Got it. Okay. So, so this is an example that we have come up with. And now somebody should ask this question that how come, how is this possible? How should we come up with a conclusion? It's very, very simple. You're doing a project. You identified some of the causes, the main causes, which is called the main effect. So let's say during a project, some of the causes, which are very, very critical. Uh, on which you want to do an experiment where you have varying, you have identified the solution as well, but you don't know which solution will it get implemented. I have certain factors. I have certain levels to it. Okay. So for that, I would have to come up with the design of experiment that which of the combinations should I come up with to get to the design of experiment. Okay. So let me just uh, open mini tab and show you how you can do that. Okay. Just give me a second. And let's, let's, uh, let's take an example of our choice. Any, any example anybody wants to take, and then we can just change what we discuss. So, so I have the mini tab open in front of me. Okay. So I don't need any data beforehand, uh, to, uh, run the full factorial design or half factorial design or fractional factorial design. I can, I can just go ahead. So I go to stats. Is my screen visible to all of you? The mini tab one, I've just switched it. Yeah. Great, great. So I go to start. I go to DOE, which is design of experiment. I go to factorial because we are working on the factorial one and I click on create factorial design. Okay. So start DOE factorial and create factorial design. So I click on create factorial design. It is asking that how many levels do you want? I said, I want two levels. Okay. He's asking for how many factors should be there. I mentioned three. So let's do with two and three. And then I'll also show you if you want to change the levels also, how you can do it. So you can change the number of factors from here. You can have a uh, maximum 15 factors. Okay. Because you have, if you have more than 15 factors, then it becomes very, very complicated. So, uh, let's do it for two factors. Okay. 
Now click on display available design. So if I have two levels, okay, and I have two factors, how many should be the number of runs? Four uh, with one replication. No, without any application. Yeah, without any application. Okay. Without so, any application. Okay, so I click on this. Then I click on design. Okay. So I click on this one. Then I have to click on factors. Okay. So it was already mentioned some of the things here. Uh, let's do the new one here. So we have to define it. So let's come up with some factors here. Please, any factors, please take any opportunity and let's give a factors to it. Anybody? Let's see what, what different thing we can come up with. And let me do with three. I think we should get more. So number of factors, I mean, moving to three. Okay. And we are doing a full factorial. Yeah. Uh, plant. Please, please get plant. Okay, so one plant factor a is plant. plant. So plant A or plant B. Okay. Uh, so I so the type would be text. Okay. Shift timings or uh, what you want to give? Shift timings. Shift yeah. uh, timing or uh, there can be three shifts: day, night, and one general shift. We have selected uh, two fact two uh, levels as of now. So we when, okay. once we do the three levels, then morning, and morning, and morning, and night. morning, and night. morning <laughs> and night. Okay. And uh, third, any other factor you want to break times? Break timings. Okay. Please give the levels. One hour or half hour. One hour and thirty minutes. Okay. And that so will I be text then, right? The okay, types sorry. will become text. Absolutely, absolutely. So now I have given I have given three factors. I'm saying plant shift timing and break timings is impacting my activity. Let's say okay, could be anything which is impacting, and each has two different levels. So plant A and B. Shift timing morning and night and break timing one hour and 30. Okay. So I click on okay. 